guys, it's Roseanne White here with you live today. It's Wednesday, first Wednesday of spring, and or I should say first Wednesday of April. Uh, the, the feeling of spring in the air sometimes. I'm in Arizona, Scottsdale, and we had a beautiful day two days ago, and it got really cold again, so it's time to move our body. I need to get warmed up a little bit. You need to warm up probably if you're in another state that's cold and a little gray. I know the weather in, in back east has been that way. So um, welcome, everybody. Uh, again, Roseanne White here from Live Fit with Life Pro. Today, we're going to be doing a spring sculpt on the Swift treadmill, also using the PowerFlow uh, dumbbells, adjustable dumbbells. So a couple things you're going to need to have handy. I want to make sure you have a water bottle. Um, have one of your resistance bands. And if you don't have a band, grab a hand towel. We're going to just use it to warm up our shoulders. Um, put some tunes on when you're, watch when you're working out. I don't play music during the workout because it's just too hard to, to hear me and the music. But so find some music that makes you happy. That's really uplifting. You know, I like to work out to disco music. That's my favorite. Let me know what kind of music you guys like to work out with. Um, I know disco just always just has a great beat, so it's good to work out to. So uh, welcome everybody. Welcome Karen uh, from Arkansas. Let me know where you're joining in from and let me know if you have the Swift, um, if you got which power flows you have. Um, I'm also going to use the Aerostep just to warm up my ankles. I'm going to stay on here for a couple minutes just to chit chat. Just a few minutes while, while Facebook is populating, while, while uh, YouTube's populating, and get everyone in. This is re a recorded session like all of them. You'll catch it later on the Life Pro VIP page or on YouTube. So if you don't get it all now, don't worry. You can do this workout anytime. I also will be posting, I've done a couple other videos on the Swift so I'll post those two to give you some ideas of what you can do. I've done a core workout and actually a beginner workout. So if you're new to treadmill, you know, don't worry about it. You're only a beginner once. And if you want to really amp it up, I did a pretty, pretty, I thought pretty uh, heavy duty core workout using the treadmill. So check that out too. Um, I am going to have you just, if you have the, the arrow step, you're going to go ahead and alternate calf raises. So all I'm doing, I've got myself on the slant. So I'm just going to alternate just to get my ankles warmed up. And what I love about this arrow step, you know, I'm holding on right now because I'm not working too much on balance, is that I have it on the half moon. Um, the, the bottom is a half moon so I can roll forward and back and just get those ankles stretched out. You might have the Squat Wedge Pro or you might have the Incline X, and those are great ways to stretch out your ankles as well. But I want to make sure that you are paying attention to your feet. Make sure you're wearing some good shoes. That's super important. And uh, you're going to work on your heel strike. Just by pointing and flexing, pressing down and up. And then the last but not least thing is I'm going to cue breath a lot. I want to make sure you're taking nice big breaths in and out. So let's just do this for a few more seconds. You can again, alternate the right and the left just to get that little bit of movement. It's where it feels good for you. Um, and I, like I said, have a water bottle handy because you're going to need it. We're going to be sweating up a little bit. And grab a towel, too. Let's do this a few more times. Also, I'm going to do a little commercial announcement. Um, this Saturday, I'll be live. It's 7 o'clock a.m. Arizona time, 10 o'clock for you guys on the East Coast, East, uh, Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a, a happy spring workout. I'm going to combine a few things with the Aerostep the balance trainer, and the dumbbells. So I hope you'll join me that. That one will be recorded too. But if you're like me, I love my black jelly beans. <laughs> so a lot, of, a lot of calories there, but you know, don't worry about it. You're going to be burning them out. So I'm starting my Apple Watch. I always like to see just how much energy I use on this. Um, and I like to make sure that I'm doing about 30 minutes of training. Let me tell you about this, um, this workout. Start your Swift right now. Let's walk while I tell you about how we're going to, um, I can't, I can't talk and program at the same time, what this workout's going to entail. Right now, I'm going to go about 1.8. I'm just starting out because I want to think about my heel strike, okay? Hold on and heel toe it. So in this spring sculpt, 
I'm going to mix it up. There's about 10 intervals. So 30 seconds to one minute of the interval will be sculpting. Then we'll do a 30 second walk, a 30 second run. And when I say run, I mean what works for you that you're going to move your legs quicker. And then a 30 second go back to walking while we get our weights or we adjust for the next exercise. So if it works out the way I'm thinking, that I'm planning, we should be about 30 minutes total on this workout. I love 30 minute workouts because you already, we always have that much time to do a workout, right? Add a little more speed right now. I mean, there's no reason not to get something in, whether it's just walking on the treadmill or weight training or flexibility, but every day do something. I do this for a living. I've been a full-time fitness trainer for 20 five years, yep, 25, and I still get my workouts in because my job is training, not exercising. But I guess I just, I guess my job is exercising because I'm working out with you right now. So we have, I've been out here for one and a half minutes. I'm gonna grab my band. A little heads up, if you are new to taking your hands off, make sure you put your safety clip on, just in case you feel like you're going to lose it, it will automatically shut the treadmill off. So my speed is not very high for me. Then I can take my band and I'm going to put my wrists, uh, the band around my wrists, elbows in, and I'm just going to pull out. Elbows are in and I'm turning my arm bones out. This is called extra rotation. And I'm going to get my shoulder joints warmed up. Now, posture is everything, guys, so keep your shoulders pulled down, your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips. You don't need to look down at your feet because you know they're underneath you. And from here, you're going to reach your arms out, shoulders down, and pull out. Exhale and inhale. You can feel your shoulder blades dropping down as you do this. I'm spreading my fingers wide making sure that my shoulder blades and the muscles between my shoulder blades are doing all the work. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the chat. I may not answer them now, but I certainly will answer them after the workout. And then you're gonna roll your shoulders out. I'm gonna take the band, I'm gonna lace it right in the handle, let's do a little bicep warm up. Now I'm not white knuckling this, I have my palm up. Keeping my elbow in, keeping my shoulder back, releasing tension, and then contracting. So we've got maybe another 30 seconds or so before we get into the meat of this workout. But I want to make sure that the arms are feeling a little warmed up. Okay, switch it out here. I'm holding on just to keep my balance for now. Eyes gazing forward. Breathing in, breathing out. Feel the abdominals pulling in. If you're comfortable, you can always put a hand behind your head. It does challenge your core and your balance a bit. But if you're not comfortable with that again, put the hand, just let it rest against here. Now, the last thing we'll do is we'll swing our arms forward and back. Open and close. If you got not comfortable with both arms, just take one arm and make a figure eight. And I'll show you what that looks like here right now. Thumb is pointing down and around. And then I'll reverse that to the other arm. Or you can do both arms. And lastly, with our warm up for the arms, reach one arm overhead and then the other. My elbows are bendy. So I want the lats in the side, my side, my body to stretch out. Big breaths out and in. Just another 10 seconds, guys, and then we'll go into our first of 10 intervals. Both arms, if you're comfortable. Everyone is different, so you might do things just a little differently, but as long as you're safe. Okay, so. First set, 30 seconds of squatting, sitting down, sitting up. You can let your hands reach forward while holding on, or 
you can stand wide and reach up and down. I'm not stopping the treadmill, okay? The swift mill, the swift, the, the swift treadmill. If you don't want the arm swings, you can hold on. Now, from here, we go into our 30 seconds of walking. Step on. Now, my walk pace is going to be 3.0. That's my walk pace, just to get warmed up. Then we'll take it up for a run, a light run. Nothing heavy duty for me. At about 4.0. And then I'm going to go back to 2.5. Ready for this? This will go quickly, I promise you. Let's take it up to where it feels good for you. You can walk quickly or you can add a little jog. You can hold on to it. And I'm just going to go ahead 30 seconds. I will eventually go quicker on this. I just want to get a feel for things. Breathing in, breathing out. Heel toe. Here we go. You got three, two, and start taking your speed down to a very slow pace. Heart rate's going to come down. Now our next, we're only doing this for 30 seconds, and then we'll go to our next exercise. So the next one will be chest push-ups. We don't have to worry about going down on the ground. We're going to use our swift. Heart rate should be coming down by now. Steady breath. I'm looking at my heart rate. Yep, it's coming down. I can feel it coming down. You can also use the heart rate sensors that are on the swift. Straddle. Hands wide, elbows bend, and push. So my elbows are coming out to the side. If you want a little more, you can take it on the floor wide. But I like to be on here. I kind of like this angle for me. And breathe in. The belly pulls back on this. The chin stays in. I'm not leading with my chin. I'm leading with the chest. Feel the push from underneath the armpits. And we're back to our walk already. Okay, so back to the walk. Now my walk speed is 2.8 this time. I'm going to increase my, my cardio, my burst, a little bit higher, getting more comfortable with it. And it's about 30 seconds or so. I'm watching my clock on this. Okay, start adding your time. It takes a few seconds. I'm at 4.3 now. It's a very quick walking pace for me. I'm just making these kind of small steps, heel toe in it. And I'm just going to go ahead and run it out again. I feel like I'm lifting up. So I'm laying on my feet rather than pounding down. Five more seconds. Start pushing down or bringing the speed down. We'll give ourselves a little time to bring the heart rate down. The next exercise will be one minute, 30 seconds each side, doing a forearm curl or a bicep curl. Forearm here is keeping the uh, elbow in line with the wrist. Bicep curl, you can always turn out. So it's going to look like a turn out like this. So it's forearm or bicep. I call those the W's or hitchhiker moves. Okay, so go ahead and grab your weights. I'm going to go, it's only one weight because we're doing, I'm going to do five, uh, 10 pounds. Okay. So I'll give you about 30 seconds to find your weights. I love having my stand. It makes it a lot easier. I'm holding it out with my right hand. I'm going to come up and straight back down, nice and controlled. And down. Uh, in the 30 seconds, you're going to do something like 10 to 15 reps, depending on how fast you go. I don't like to use momentum. Momentum is not strength. Okay, momentum is just kind of stress people on the joints. So I want you to have control with every move you make. Bring it all the way up, all the way down. You got three more seconds. Preparing to shift here, other side, down and up. Stand nice and tall. Feel your heels and toes. My speed, by the way, is 2.9, in case you were wondering. 
You have to shift a little bit over to the side to make sure you can clear the handles. And I'm not swinging my weight. I've got to control the top and all the way to the bottom. And then we're going to replace that weight into the stick. Grab some water in your wok. You've got 30 seconds or so. Okay. In 15 seconds, I'm going up to about 4.5. Okay, so get ready to come with me on this journey here. 4.5 it is. It's a little quicker. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. I can feel the speed. Again, you can hold on. If you're comfortable with it, you're going to go to that jog with me. Nice and tall, getting lengthened up. I already feel like the top of my head is lifting to the to the sky. I stay in a low aerobic zone this way. That way the calories will keep burning, the fat calories that is. And then back to slow. So here's the deal guys. If you go too anaerobic, it's like opening the floodgates to always go back to anaerobic. I want you to keep you in the aerobic zone. It's a better fat burning zone. Those fat calories that we're working on, not calories in the muscle. Okay, heart rate should be coming down. And we're gonna go into the next, it's a shoulder press. Okay, so you have some time to grab water, come off your swift. I'm sticking with 10 pounds. And uh, whatever works for you, I'm going into a narrow press, single arm, I'm coming up and then down. I'm not going full, full range. I mean, I'm not going all the way up. I would be in my neck. Okay. Finding pace. I'm at 3.0. I'm going to hold on for a bit here until I get comfortable. If you are comfortable with letting go, it's going to be a lot more of your obliques firing up. You may even want to put your hand behind your head. So the core is definitely engaging here. Exhale up. We have five seconds to go. Okay, make a quick switch. Weight on your shoulder. Hold on for the first couple reps to get your bearings straight. And then when you start feeling comfortable, hand goes behind your head. So my elbows lining up with my shoulder. Wait, just barely over my head. Five more seconds, please. Okay, it's a quick little switch. And we're just walking, okay? We're gonna regroup, take a little sip of water. Then we're going to our brisk walk or run, whatever suits you. But I want you to always kind of find an edge here. Get a little, a little more intensity. Okay, ready for this? I'm going to go to 5 or 4.7. Okay, I still can go into a fast brisk walking pace. Okay, or I can do that leg jog. Three seconds, two seconds, and one second. Come on back to a slow pace. So my chart on the gym programs differently. So I don't compare those numbers to these numbers. Okay. Home unit works a little differently. Let the heart rate come down. So our next interval is only 30 seconds. And it's going to be tricep push-ups. From here to push out. That's your range. Avoiding the neck, you're pre pulling the shoulders down to push out. Okay, so straddle, hands narrow, come in and press. I'm gonna walk back a little bit and push away. Squeeze the belly, squeeze your butt muscles. 
I'm not sticking my tush out. Strong push away. Should feel pretty good. Nothing, no, no strain in the neck at all. Nice and slow is the best way to really connect all the muscles. Excellent, guys. Okay, 30 seconds. See, you can do 30 seconds of anything. And my walking speed right now, I'm upping that to 3.2. I should have put my ceiling fan on because I'm getting warm. <laughs> my heart rate is in my fat burning zone, which is 125 to 135 for me. So I'm pretty happy about that. Especially since my husband just came home with a lot of chocolate. <laughs> okay, so ready for it? Let's go ahead, crank it up. I'm going to be 4 9, and now I have to run. I cannot walk. Well, I can walk quickly, but I'm going to go back to a nice little jog. Concentrate really on slow breaths in and long breaths out. That way, I know I am not anaerobic. Excellent. Start bringing it on down. Oh yeah, good stuff. So heart rate's coming down. I'm not gonna be working a curtsy lunge on each side. Okay, no weights on this. I'm gonna hold on just for support. Take a sip of water, you got a few seconds to go. Keeping the treadmill going. Straddle it, left foot stays on. I'm going to shoot my hip up. My knee stays over the rail. You can put your hand on your hip if you want to do this. But it's the hip turning out and in. I swivel onto my stable leg. So, yeah, you're going to keep the heart rate up on this one. Switching sides. Okay, find center. Anchor the right leg, hinge, and tap. Lay down your fingers. Make sure that knee is tracking right over the toes. So I step back and around. I'm just letting my toe land lightly. I don't have a flat foot. Just pressing off the toes. A few more seconds here. And we're back to walking. So my walking speed, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to be at the 3.0. Heart rate's still in that fat burning zone for me. Hopefully it is for you too. Again, big breath in and out. You might want to practice not holding on while you're doing your walk. That might be something new for you. Or just really light fingers. Our next interval after we start running will be... A row, but let, right now let's get into that rhyme. Okay, guys, I'm hitting 5.0 on this one. Heck yeah. Okay. You feel you're aware of every foot strike from heel to toe. I like to move my arms a little bit. Let's give me a rhythm in my stride. Taking a big breath in and out. I'm going to start bringing it down. Great. Heart rate's coming down. I'm taking a check. Yep, I'm at 133, so still liking that number. <sighs> Sigh it out every now and then. That helps your nervous system to relax. Now, we're going to use one weight. It's a narrow row with a hip extension, so I'm going to come on off. I'm going to sit with my 10-pounder today for this one. So I'm going to hold on opposite hand. I'm going to kick back. Oh, I'm going to do that. Yeah. I kick back and I row. I'm hinging from the hip and pulling up. Hinge and back. Leaning forward, pulling back. I said it was a row, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> well, it's not really a row. It's a hip hinge. I got a row coming up though, I promise you. <laughs> this just feels more natural. Okay, let's switch sides carefully. I hope I have room on this side. 
I'm going to stay. Um, let's see. Yeah. There I go. I didn't, I didn't count on my wall for this one. So I think I will donkey kick it up and back. Still working the muscles I want to work. I'm working my right butt cheek and my left hamstring. Hinging forward. It's actually a deadlift, not a row. I'm trying to get that heel to the sky. How's that feeling for you? Okay, all the way up, all the way up. Great on the back. Muscles of opposite side of the obliques. Yeah, one more. And back. Excellent. Careful, guys, when you come off. So it's our deadlift with hip extension. Okay, we're going for our walk. Our little walk. Hurry, it's looking pretty good here. Okay, we're moving right along, guys. The next one is going to be a side bend with a shoulder press. So my shoulder press is going to be up to the side rather than up. Okay, so it's going to be a side bend. But first, let's get our cardio on. I'm going to, because it's programmed already, I can press to four right now. And my speed's there, but now I'm adding on. 5.0, here I go. I'm liking it. I think I'll go a little more. 5.5. Five. Keeping the belly pulled in, keeping the chin pulled in. Excellent. Bring it on down. Oh, yeah. So I can feel my, my glutes working a lot more with my side leg work. I want to make sure not only coming front to back, but you're working the abductors and adductors. Super important. Heart rate's coming down. So I'm going to go ahead. Then I'm going to grab my five pound, just five pounds. That's all I need for this one. And I'm going to keep it. I'm going to straddle, okay, and my hands behind my head, and I'm going to side bend and lift. So I've got a wide stance, elbow touching the hips, and bending over. I keep that bend in my elbow the whole time. I'm not punching up. I'm keeping the bend. That's it. And let's do one more. Come on back. Other side, elbow in at the side. Hand behind the head for me. Over time, you can go a little heavier with this, but I want to make sure that you've got awesome form. Abs are in. Obliques are working. Okay, keep the hand behind the head. Feel your feet secure. Toes pointing forward. Five seconds to go. Excellent. Okay, bring it on down. Set your weight back in the saddle. Go right in those obliques. Okay, let's go ahead and find our walking speed. I'm going to walk in a 3.3. .3. Again, this is just my suggestions. Do what feels right for you. And we are going to go to a... Um, Side leg raise with the side arm raise, okay? Hit some shoulders now. Smaller muscle group, lighter weight, okay? You ready for a run? Okay, I'm going to crank it up. I'm going 5.7 on this one. I hope, I hope I'm making the right decision. But the good news is you can always adjust it at any time, okay? Here we go. Start to drop it up. Ooh, 5.8. Oh, let's keep it there. Not forever, just for now. The most important thing is you keep your abdominals pulled in and you keep your head up your shoulders, not stressing your back that way. Start cutting that speed back. Ah, walking pace. Heart rate coming on down. So I mentioned before, we've got a couple other swift 
workouts, I'll put them in the chat on the uh, Life Pro VIP page. And I'm gonna put this workout in the chat. Let me get that heart down there. So you can do parts of it or all of it. Okay, here we go. Straddling off. Now this one is a side leg lift. I'm gonna have left leg, right arm to the side, okay? I'm holding on for balance. You can hold on to the center council. I'm pushing through my heel. My toes slightly turned out. You don't have to lift that weight high. I do have the wall space for it. I want you to hold on if you're not used to being on the rails. Safety first. Two more. And one more. Switch it out. Hands by the shoulder. The hand goes up on a slight angle. And let's go. Keep your hand in the center. It's almost like your nose is over your left rail. Left arm reaching out, right heel reaching away. Keeping the chest lifted. My hand goes just about as high as my shoulder joint, not any higher. About 10 more seconds, guys, on this one. Last one. Excellent. Okie doke. All right. We're getting to the home stretch, guys. I'll look at our comments in a little bit, so stay with me. We're just going to walk. I see some people jumping in. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're going to enjoy this workout as much as I am doing, having fun doing it and designing it for you guys. So our last interval, we did nine already, is going to be side crunches. But now... I'm going to go right to 6.0 on this one, guys. So I'm pushing the button. It says 6.0. There's my speed, and here I go. Last one. I'm up to 6.0. I'm not a big runner, but I can do anything, like I said, for 30 seconds. And sometimes you either have to run away from stuff. <laughs> you want those quick twitch muscles to be able to kick in. And bring it on down. I'm hitting my 4.0. And then I bring it all the way down. All right, let the heart rate come down. <sighs> big breaths in, big breaths out. So the heart sensors on your Swift may not be totally accurate, but it gives you an idea of where you're at if you don't have a heart reminder. I love having a heart rate monitor because it keeps me really honest. If you're on medication, that changes everything. So you have to work on your perceived exertion. If you're huffing and puffing, you're already anaerobic, so don't push it all the time. Build up your base. Okay, here's our last interval of side crunches. So, oh, we don't need anything. We don't need weight. Okay. So I'm just going to take my right hand behind my head, bring my knee up, all the way up. So you rotate and bend and it come back. Yeah, I do have my hand light up, actually not that light, I'm really holding on to this handle. Assume that straight position and crunch. Pull the belly muscles in so it's not hip flexor, it's lower abs. One more. Now switch. Hand behind the head, elbow slightly forward. Make sure you have some room here and tuck and extend. You could actually lift back in extension and then flexion with rotation. Think more about your elbow coming up. I'm sorry, the knee coming up rather than the elbow going down. I'm not cranking my neck on this. Two more. One more. Excellent. And let's just walk it out. Now you could do one more run interval if you'd like. We're at 30 minutes, so I don't want to 
uh, belabor this. I want to honor your time. Thank you so much for joining me today. But you can continue this. You can repeat this if you'd like. You can always make your intervals longer. That's another option. Play with it. At least you've got some foundation. You've got a good structure on work, walk, kick up your cardio, walk. So muscle contraction of some muscle group. Walk through, power in, kick it up a little bit, bring it down, reset, and do it again. It just makes this time really go by, wouldn't you agree? Okay, so I'm going to come down now. I, let my, I gave myself a full minute to bring things down. So I'm going to hit the stop. Great. And we're just going to stand on our platform or on our rail. I'm going to take one heel down. So if you don't have an arrow step, you can go ahead and stretch the calf. Take a big breath in and out. And then switch legs. I have my foot on the rail, on the, on the treadmill itself. Another foot on the rail, I'm dropping my heel down. Spreading the toes wide. We're gonna go for a hamstring stretch, but first let's do a figure four. So what I'd like you to do, I'm gonna hold on, okay? Sit down, cross over, and sit back. Make sure you're not pulling on this. This is just to counterbalance you. A little figure four stretch. So that's my right ankle over my left knee. I'm gonna stand up. I'm going to bring my left knee up, hold on to the ankle to bring the knee back. I'm pulling the abdominals in, holding on, roll the shoulder back, and now open up that hip flexor, the front of the thigh. I'm going to push down on my shoelaces and maybe get a little extension here. My hamstring's working on my standing leg. Excellent. Okay, so we'll switch it out, and I'll show you what that looks like on the other side. So I, I do a little squat, I'm going to cross over, I'm hinging back. And again, easy does it, don't drop your head, drop back in your hip. And you're going to feel all the stretching in the left leg, left hip. Doesn't have to be deep, just to be effective. And then come on up. About three breaths, bring the knee up, hug on, grab your shin, grab your shoelaces, grab your toe, grab your sock. <laughs> So stand nice and tall, rolling the shoulder back. Check in ears, shoulders, and hips. Knees are together side by side. I'm pushing down on my hand, shoelaces in my hand. And then if you want more, keep the chin tucked in. You hinge from the left hip and then lift up. Excellent, shake it out. So hamstring stretch. Let's just take a really simple but effective one. Right leg forward, hinge back, left knee is bent. Support your weight there and point and flex a few times. Pull the toes up, working our anterior tibialis. If you've got a shin blitz, you can work it with that too. Helps to, protect, to strengthen the muscles that support your knees. Hinge, pull the belly back, pull the butt back, point and flex. Feel that length all the way from the knee to the hip. So you don't have to touch your toes on this, but I want your back to be flat. Chin pulled in. And then let's just take a big breath in. Stretch up, interlace your fingers, press up. Take your hands behind your head. Lean back, eyes gaze to the sky. Press into your heels. And then bend to one side. Again, little baby bends here. There's lots of flexibility videos in our YouTube library. On the platform, on the balance trainer, Everywhere. <laughs> we, can do, we can stretch anywhere, anyway. Reach all the way out and in release. Roll your shoulders. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm looking at some uh, questions. Did they ever get the electronics on the Swift? Can't get any stats on mine. I don't know about that, but I check in with um, the uh, Life Pro Customer Support team. I'm sure they'll jump on and give you an answer. Glad for another swift workout. Yeah, thanks. You know, I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of them on there, and I think we should have more. So if you want some more, I'll bring them to you. You guys want them? I'll bring them to you. Um, so, uh, yeah, these weights are awesome. You know, if you don't have weights, don't worry about it. You know, you could use resistance bands. I, I could do a resistance band swift treadmill workout if that's something that's interesting to you. 
Yeah, definitely save this workout because it is going to be a good one for you. It, it's really great because it's quick and it's not like, oh, I'm 30 minutes on the treadmill. Your body's moving, you're in your aerobic zone, you're fat burning. And with Easter on the corner and eating jelly beans and, and all those other you know, mar marshmallow peeps and everything, you want to burn those fat calories for sure. So guys, make sure you hydrate. I, didn't, I was talking more than I was hydrating, so I'm going to drink a little more of this water. Thank you so much for joining me. Please join me Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Arizona time. I get to sleep in. <laughs> and then it's going to be 9 o'clock Chicago, that central time zone, 10 o'clock in, in Ohio, New York, on the East Coast. So that guy, you guys can do that workout or do it later on that day or even Easter morning. Um, but that, that video, along with my 12 days of fitness, don't know if you know I have that one out there, but a 12 days of fitness was another uh, um, holiday workout that I put together just to make things fun and mix it up. The Hoppy Easter workout will have the Aero Step and the Balance Trainer. I'm going to do use both, but you don't need them both. You can do most everything on either the Balance Trainer or most everything on the Aero Step. I just want to give you options in case you don't have them both. There's so many amazing products that Life Row puts out. I thank Joel and Abe all the time for bringing us some amazing products like the Sculpt Trainer and the Glute Blaster that are affordable for us with amazing customer service that only Life Pro has. So again, if there's any challenges with electronics and stuff, just make sure you talk to these guys because they got you covered. Again, Roseanne White here from Scottsdale, Arizona. Hope you have a wonderful evening and here's to your health. Bye for now.